This is some of the 360 footage that I shot in Iceland a few weeks ago using the Xiaomi Mijia Mi Sphere camera attached to my Taro 650 Sport Quad. Now this is definitely not the ideal solution for shooting 360 aerials. Um, this was shot without a gimbal and with the camera mounted quite close to the, the quad itself simply because of the limitations of how tall the landing gear is and I had to be able to land it without smashing the camera on the ground. Ideally you would want a proper brushless gimbal on the camera and you'd want to have the, the camera much further away from the quad. Well, either that or have two cameras, one on top, one beneath, and then edit out the, the drone itself in post-processing. Uh, but for this particular trip, I was working with the equipment I had and the budget available to the project, just doing the best we could. And all things considered, especially taking the rather windy weather into account, uh, it actually came out not too bad. So this footage is stitched using the latest version at the time of the Android app, using the gyroscope data recorded by the camera. So you may have noticed that as the, the drone itself turns, the camera view doesn't turn, it maintains the heading uh, it's looking at, which I think is a much better way of doing things for the viewer on YouTube than having the view turn for them. It means if you're looking towards a particular point of interest and the camera moves, you don't need to manually click and drag to keep looking in the same direction. It's also a lot less sort of nausea inducing if you're looking through a VR headset if your view isn't being changed for you and you're in full control of what you're looking at. Now the whole time that we were in Iceland we were fighting against rather unfortunate wind, which was fine when shooting uh, gimbal stabilised footage with the Inspire, but for this 360 setup without a, a gimbal it, uh, it meant the windier it was the worse the footage would be. If you look up towards a quad you can see that the quad is moving relative to the background which isn't moving, so the, the gyroscope data is doing a pretty decent job considering the camera is rigidly attached to the drone, uh, but there's only so much it can do. This particular shot here, we're flying downriver with the wind behind us, which uh, leads to smoother footage than flying into the wind. So this turned out quite well considering how gusty it was. If you've been following on the Mijio Facebook group, you'll know that you can try to use the Skybox Studio plugins for After Effects from a company called Metal to stabilize this 360 footage. Uh, but that relies upon the 3D camera tracker in After Effects, which only really works on scenes that don't have too much movement. So that previous clip would actually solve. Uh, I didn't do it in this video because I wanted to keep the consistency and have them either all stabilized or all not stabilized. And, for example, this clip here, uh, there's just far too much movement for the, uh, the 3D camera tracker to track the scene successfully, so this won't stabilise. And this one is now flying upriver into the wind, and you can see that it's causing much more sort of buffeting motion in the drone, which then gets transferred into the camera, so it doesn't look near as good. And this is the other far from ideal uh, feature of this setup, which is that landing it in wind is quite nerve wracking because it can easily topple over because of how top heavy it is with the, the fairly short stubby landing gear. I'm not a fan of this tarot frame now that I've actually built with it, but I'm loath to rebuild the quad until I've actually broken the frame and given myself a good reason to do so. But anyway, the trip was good fun. Uh, I think I learned some important things about filming 360 aerials, about what works, what doesn't work, what you can get away with and what you need to invest more money in. Uh, I definitely hope to do some more of this in the future, but with a slightly more appropriate setup.